In this experiment, we show the diffraction of a circular aperture. How is this done? Well, again, we have our laser, but then here we have um, a series of circular pinholes. And now, as you see, this is a 0.2 millimeter pinhole that we are looking at. And of course, now we are looking at the diffraction pattern far away on the screen here. So for this, we have to make it dark. <coughs> so now you see the diffraction pattern on the screen, and it is this pattern of circular rings, and this pattern is actually called an airy pattern. And what we are uh, observing is now when I switch the pinhole to a different size, for example here, which is now the 0.1 millimeter, 100 micron pinhole, you see a wider pattern. And interestingly, this, this pattern uh, I tend to call the jink or jink square pattern, uh, which comes from the mathematical structure of this that you will learn later. But uh, one, one other thing is you see this first dark ring and the thing in the middle or the, the spot in the middle is called the airy disk. Yeah? You should try to not call this pattern an airy, well, you can call it an airy pattern, but please do not call it an airy function because this is a different term in, in statistics and might lead to confusion. But you may, this in the middle is called the airy disk and you can call this the airy pattern or better the jing square pattern in this case. <coughs>